Cappadocia, one of the most popular tourist destinations in the whole of Turkey. Commonly known for the hot air balloon rides you can go on in the morning. You'll see pictures of it all over the internet. But this place has a very historical past. So in the 600s and 700s, the Christians actually built houses, churches, and um, yeah, shelter to hide from the Arab persecution. And dark, I know, it's a dark history in the early days of Christianity. Cappadocia is now a popular tourist destination. And what a lot of people do is they build hotels here and they try and mimic the style of what the Christians used to live in. Though it's a little bit more bougie right now. The Christians back in those days, they couldn't even stay in these caves that they had their bed in 24 hours a day because it would get too hot. But for me in Ksenia, we have the right hotel, easy life, tourist place. So today, I'm going to show you my 68 pound Airbnb in Cappadocia, Turkey. After you. <laughs> so this is our <laughs> cave hotel for the night. Wait for this, let me shut the door. Ready guys? I don't think you are. Thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at this ceiling. So, unlike your usual hotel room, the ceiling's not flat, it's just cave. Look at them lights up there. I assume they're traditional Turkish. We've got some water. We got some tea. This is the tea we picked up from um, Istanbul. Yeah. <laughs> so to start off, we've got the rose petals on the bed. We've got the swan heart and we've got a lovely little atmosphere to sleep in. Do you want to try out the bed? Uh, comfy? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much of a genuine yes that is, but to sleep here, excuse me, scooch. It's a rose. Rose petals, yeah. <laughs> to sleep here. Ah, just imagine it. You're looking up at this seal. You see the, the wheat there? Must be grown around this region of Turkey. And then, this is where our suitcases are. We wanted to make the video good. But um, you have a, a mini balcony. I don't know if you can get out. Yeah. Let me just. Do you want to film? Yeah. You have a mini balcony overlooking everywhere. As you can see, just up there, that's where we're showing you um, where you have breakfast here. Okay, this is cool, but you can also, there's a seat here, and there's a seat there, where you can chill with your partner and, yeah, overlook the view, with you, yeah. getting down to walk, <laughs> right, some rock climbing. See it there, and this is where it gets good. Okay, are you ready, guys? I don't think you are. You've got a full on. I don't know if you class as a jacuzzi or just a bubble bath. Well, I mean, there's only one way to find out whether it's a jacuzzi or a bubble bath, isn't there? We've um, <laughs> <laughs> got quite beautiful um, sculptures. And is that like that? Oh, <laughs> romantic. So guys, you, you go, you go and get something like this in Santorini, Greece or Italy. You're gonna be paying a lot more than 68 quid. There are places like this for under, there are places like this for over. So if you come into Cappadocia, just go and take a look around online and hopefully you'll find the best 
prices. Now this is interesting. We have the soaps in the wall. Dylan, Cappadocia, cotton buds. Oh, how interesting. And toilet paper, that's too tall for you to reach. So you have to go without toilet paper. <laughs> and a towel, another towel and the shower. Very nice shower. Very nice place if you, you want to hold this. Just, and the newspaper, oh now there is TikTok. It's a nice atmosphere to have a number two. And I don't know if you can see up on the ceiling. It's not, it's not like a hole there. Wow. I don't know why that is, why this is designed the way it is, but maybe that's to keep this from overheating. I'm not sure we have underground heating as the guy said on the way in here, but yeah. My friend, that is our £68. And considering what you're paying for, like this is a good price. Um, Airbnb, Cappadocia. And you also, you also got a little bit of history. Now guys, the video doesn't end there. In the morning, we're gonna get some breakfast. Hopefully we see a lot of hot air balloons and we'll be able to see this landscape. Hello you. We'll be, <laughs> we'll be able to see this landscape in the distance a lot better. So we're gonna, actually, I'm not gonna end the video here. We're gonna have a, a nice night in, um, in our room. We got radio outside. It's it's great, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What's that? Hooker. Hooker. Yeah, I yeah. think. It, I think it is. Um, I will see you in the morning for breakfast. The video doesn't end here, but for tonight, the video ends. I see you later. Well, it's the following morning and these caves look um, a lot more distinct. It's really lovely, but no sign of balloons, which is a real shame. Maybe we'll look into getting our own balloon tomorrow, who knows? I say before we get breakfast. Before we get breakfast, do you want to take a little walk that way and see if we can see any balloons? It's beautiful, isn't it? What we have here? Oh. And where the best place to take a look at the view is? Um. Wow. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it? Just appears there's a couple of balloons in the distance coming down, you know? Or oh, they're up, but. It's just in the distance. Wow. What a beautiful view to start the morning off. Mm. What do you think of the place? <laughs> I like it here. I like I'm it. just <laughs> sleeping. You're sleeping, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's come back get some breakfast, hopefully that'll wake you up. Alright, this is where we're eating breakfast today. It's mm. cool, right? Wait till you get round here. <laughs> oh. Wow. I don't know what this big rock is. Hopefully we're able to climb to the top of it today. Are you hungry? Yeah? <laughs> You're tired? In each video you ask me if I'm hungry and I say yes, yes. <laughs> You're always hungry. <laughs> People start thinking I'm just—it's <laughs> all I want for life. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> these cave houses. Didn't realize. I think most of these are pretty much natural. I'm sure we'll see more today. And this is where we'll be. Eating. Wow, it's beautiful capital here. I think I'm gonna move to Cappadocia. <laughs>
I will stay here, you can go back. <laughs> we'll both stay here then. Take a look at that. Look at that cheese. Selection's great. Some bread, olives, and then oh, all the amenities, apricots. This right here tastes like what's inside of a Kinder Bueno. I don't know if any of you are familiar. Mm. I'm wondering. Not paste, maybe. Yeah, not paste. And when getting some, um, like that's exactly what's inside of a Kinder Bueno. We're getting, I believe, some egg and some sausage too. But we may as well just dig into this for now. You like some bread? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very good. Alright, my friends, now we have the same as yesterday. Um, but the eggs isn't scrambled in the tomato, it's just separate. To be honest, I think, I don't know if you saw the video where we had breakfast, but I think this is a, a better breakfast if you ask me. Would you like to hand me your plate? Mm -hmm. I'll take that. And that's traditional Turkish, I just forgot the name of it. So I want to try. That's meat. Right, and then we got some meat. I didn't eat any yesterday. I'm sorry, Casey. I'm sorry. Hmm, I'm not sure. Mm. Mm. Think it might be turkey? Beef ham? Yeah, it's like beef kombasa. ham. Kombasa. <laughs> Is that what the guy suggested? Or no, no, it's different. Mm. Ah, okay. Is that made out of beef? Mm. Okay. Well, it's the following day. I'm here with Fatima. Is this your place? Your yes. family's place? Yes, my place. Yes, how many um, how many guest suites do you have here? We have uh, six rooms. Yes. We have uh, six cave rooms and then with jacuzzi. There are good panoramic view. Yes. Also, the balloon is passing in here. Yes, me and my girlfriend had a fantastic stay and it's very nice. It's very um, gorgeous. What can you tell me about this area? Cappadocia. What can you tell me about Cappadocia? Cappadocia is really beautiful. Yes. Is it your, your where you were born? Yes, we oh. was born in here. Also, yeah. in here is my grandparents' home. Oh no way! And that's crazy. So back in the day, they had actual like everybody lived in caves. Usually, before is it's correct, but now is they are movie. Yes. Now is it's in here is renovated, yes. and then now is restaurant, cafe, and then hotels. Yes, yes, so it's a, it's a good touristic area and it's a very popular place here in Turkey. Hello, bro. You okay? Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> you YouTuber. Hello, you, you okay? <laughs> yeah. And what's this up there? It's... Yeah, this is the castle. Yes, if okay. If you want, you can climb to there. Yes, okay. there are somebody. Yeah. Oh. You want to hold? You want to hold the camera? Tut, tut. Hello, welcome to Cappadocia. How do you say that in Turkish? Cappadocia is correct. How do you say welcome to? Hoş geldiniz. Hoş geldiniz, Cappadocia. <laughs> <laughs> that was our 68 pound breakfast included Airbnb for the night here in Cappadocia. What an absolutely spectacular, a magical place. <laughs> Guys, Airbnb is in the description for this place. If you want to come, um, the link's there. I would definitely recommend it. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to come here. And yeah. We're not even done yet. Time to explore Cappadocia and see what the place has to offer.
Yeah. Cappadocia, just take a look at that. Absolutely cannot wait to see what this place has to offer. Thank you for watching. Airbnb in description. Appreciate you all for subscribing. And um, if you want to see more content, of course, become a member of the channel. Goodbye.